Hello everyone, welcome back to another channel update. Today we have a lot to showcase and a lot to announce in general. So firstly, I want to start off with the pack in general, which is right behind me. But before we get to that, Minecraft, yay, we're back. Um, I guess, trying to move to Twitch. Tried doing that for a while, but didn't go um, that well, really. I just tried it to experiment. But, 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 but. This is going to be separated in dif different sections, I mean. So we're going to have the first section, which is pack showcase. Second part is basically announcements, big announcements on the channel. And basically, what to expect. Alright, so before we get into the pack, basically what all this is, this is not the whole pack. The whole pack um, is in another video, which is basically, um, the link is in the description below for the original video. There is way more stuff than this, this is just basically pack update 1.3 I think it's called, which we have called it the mythical update. You will see why because of the armors. We have revamped the tools nearly three times in the whole lifespan of this update, but I believe that this is the best, um, the best it's ever been. I mean basically I can't really say much about them because they're just tools, though what I can really say is that we have added finally the 1.16 netherite tools which is personally one of my favorite we have went for um, a demonic team which is actually working pretty pretty well netherite axe literally looks like a battle axe so this will be cool to fight mobs with the, the netherite bow even looks like a, 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 a site i think it's called the skite i don't know what it's called i think it's called site um we have another right sword obviously and then right shovel and then right pickaxe blah blah um for this tool because this one the wooden sword is shorter than other things so i think this how it works so we have oh yeah also before i go i delve deeper um we have changed the um uh, icon for the chocolate pack and i'm also using the icons texture pack i highly recommend you guys using this for the chocolate pack because it works really well so these icons were not made by me nor the pack creator so i want to make that really clear <laughs> so you see how the tools differentiate so oh i don't want to show the other stuff yeah, not yet um we have the wooden sword we have the stone sword which is a bit bigger then we have the golden sword see how it kind of grows other things i want to mention is basically things that we have removed in this update so firstly um, we have reverted flower textures into the original textures in Minecraft, A. Um, we have also um, removed, because we were going to do our original icons, we never got the chance to do that. We have fixed the redstone color. The ores, we have also reverted them to the now new 1.17 texture. Um, what else we did was we no longer called the ores as aquamarine or whatever. That has all been removed. So let me just show you. Once you drop diamond, you can bring that up. Emerald, it's no longer how it used to be with the face and whatever. So we have changed that. We have basically reverted it how it was. Um, that is really it. We have changed a lot more stuff. Though I think those are the main. Oh yeah, we have removed the black bars like how it was with the PvP update. Now we have changed it a bit. We put in this like yellow thingy here, as you can see. Um, let me show you real quick on survival how it looks like. Uh, there. So we have also changed the XP bar just a bit than it was before. It was like this before, but we just made it a bit more better. Though the inventory has seen a significant change. We have basically made the birch. I don't really like birch personally, though I feel like this really fits it. Um, next update, which is basically going to be called the pack maker slash nature update. Is the pack maker, user's pack maker, which again, it, um, I have collaborated once more with it's Alex, now known as Snowy, um, to make this update. And basically what he's gonna do is just do whatever he wants, plus adding a nature, like better nature, onto the pack. And one of them will be a background for this dude. So this pack just always grows, you know? So every major update, I'm gonna do a showcase about it. Um, in the next video, we are going to change an armor design, but no need to talk about it right now. And let's just go back there. And that's how basically, how the zombie looks like if he looks at me. There we go. This is how he looks like now. I think Percy looks way better um, than he was before because I really didn't like seeing a bunch of them like that. Oh yeah, the slimes just like how they were. I still like them a lot. Uh, the sheep, we have changed them a bit. <laughs> we made them a bit more derpy but also just a bit more nicer I guess. 
let me see because I'm gonna show you it works it works all right with the red dye and stuff with the thin dye so it's not like the original shape but hey let us bring the difficulty back to peaceful because the slimes are too much anyways let's now move to you books we have changed every single texture of the enchanted books here's just some well, for example the punch book um, this is for example the infinity book now you realize from their icons for example this is blast protection up here because um, it has the like dynamite stick on it this one i don't even know what it is respiration okay with the bubbles this one is thorns this one is ice walker i think oh that's fine oh yeah we have also changed the vine texture a bit let me know what you think about it if it's too repetitive we can change that in the nature update one more time we'll revert we were going to revert the vine texture but um we were also going to change the stone texture in general but that didn't work out because we feel we don't really want to um change textures for um uh, ma uh, major building blocks because if there are like builders out there they really like the original palette i don't want to change it that much so we basically focus on other things so yeah um but this is basically um what we have changed we have changed every so if you search a book for example here you see that every single thing has been changed so sharpness you have the sword smite you have the the spirits you have knockback with the sword having the so everything has changed and it basically brings in uniqueness to every single book which i really like um the chests have been changed i feel like this is way better than the original minecraft texture i don't know about you this is the chat chest by the way and this is the normal minecraft chest and like normal chest what we also did it's kind of sad and not but we're going to try to fix that next update oh yeah before i go into that new foods new food textures we basically redid the bread where uh, i don't think if we did the rabbit i think that they're by mistake i think that was by mistake <laughs> we did we redid the chicken we redid the steak aka beef um the cookie and like and the i don't even think this is what we changed really i don't know why i put them in there sorry <laughs> um though what i was going towards is that we have changed these two music discs we tried and i'll tr we'll try again in the next step they were going to try to basically put in um you know the normal minecraft music where it just plays where you're playing we're gonna try to put in the music that are on these discs in the game itself not by just playing the disc so basically we have replaced cat and music disc number 13 to let me start off with this this is a bit of an easter egg for my upcoming game faded light um <laughs> so that's that's um one of the songs that we have planned for faded light this song is original was composed by a guy that i have found online that really has helped me with the um sound, the whole soundtrack um the first the first disc that's how we're calling it because i think the faded light game is going to have two discs this is disc one and it's one of the musics and uh, one of the songs in this one which really reminds me of an avatar like avatar um and the last airbender type feel um and this is my uh channel my channel outro slash intro like my channel music that has been implemented in here so i'm just i'm just pretty happy i'm gonna i'm gonna let this actually now i'm gonna let this play in the background you know for a bit of a vibe as we move on to, actually no <laughs> um, as we move on to the main show i mean it has it wasn't a massive massive update no this has taken us two weeks to make all of this why because it, it took some research and it took some time and we feel like this is a good standpoint on what we have done so let me start off with the new armor textures now remember when i said that we're in the we're gonna release a quote-unquote hotfix or whatever i'm calling these hotfixes and updates because th this texture pack is constantly building up because that's how i wanted it to initially be so in the next video most likely this iron texture is going to change because we feel like it was good though we have we don't have different ideas for it and we may just make this into something that i did behind me which i'm not going to show just yet this is the normal design these two are still the same we have reverted the um diamond armor a we have changed the name back to diamond armor instead of tropical armor and we have made it blue instead of the lightning that it was so not a big change but the netherite 
We still went on that demonic weaponry style thing. Uh, oh, is that right? Demonic. <laughs> so let me just show you. It matches with your sword. So if you look, it has the blue. It has the blue there. If I were to... I'm writing it right wrong. Let me just, just throw a bunch of tools on the floor to give you an example. See that they all have a blue gem in it? Which is basically a diamond. That's the door behind it. There's a diamond in it. This is also with diamond stuff. Which I really, really like. But now the main show, the additional armors. So not only are you getting just this armor, plus the leather obviously, but you're also getting an extra six um, retextured armors. How do you obtain them? Let's start off with, the, with this new armor that I cannot get. Okay, there we go. So basically, for you to obtain this first set, you need to get an anvil. Oh, get an anvil, put your armor in there, and you rename from netherite to crying, <laughs> in this case, crying helmet, crying chest plate, crying leggings, and crying boots. And basically, the lore behind this is, it's crying obsidian armor. Which basically, let me just show you, this is how crying obsidian looks. And this is how the armor looks next to it. So it's basically crying obsidian armor. Um, we made this retextured thing for the armors, which is basically the main part of this whole update. Um, because if you guys ever want to open like an armory room in your world, or a museum or whatever, you can just put in more stuff like this in there, like the crying obsidian armor, and put some lore behind it or whatever. It just does a bit more of a storyline for the game. Um, so that was basically the crying, the crying um, obsidian armor. We didn't name it crying obsidian because would be too long. <laughs> this is something else. So this is called the Ozar armor. Uh, <laughs> maybe asking what the hell is an Ozar? Um, so this year I've played a good amount of D&D and also hosted a D&D session. Like a whole campaign. If you don't know what D&D is, it's just basically nerdy stuff. <laughs> and this is basically a tribute to one of the players in the D&D thing. Um, which is basically a lava, a lava creature, I guess you can call him, which has this pretty nice armor, um, inspired from the Assassin's Creed, I think, Odyssey game. We took some inspiration from him for this armor, and I think it came out pretty well. Just imagine rocking if you want to like live in the Nether, you just rock this like fire armor, um, which I think is also pretty cool for you to for so for you to like get this armor, you just rename your armor to. Ozar's helmet, Ozar's chest plate, Ozar leggings, and Ozar boots. And you basically get this nice fire texture. Alright. That was Ozar armor. The tropical armor, even though it was in the last update, we have now made it into a renaming item and renaming texture armor. So now you have the blue and you also have the green, which is basically my favorite armor. So yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's really it. Sorry, just took a screenshot of that. <laughs> so, for you to get it, you basically rename this into... Tr so, because I'm realizing, I didn't mention this either. We're going to try to change also the item texture, but we have found it to be a bit of an issue for us to change it. Though we're going to try by next update that we change this as well. Again, this is an ever-expanding texture pack, you know? This is another update again, 1.3. Um, and we're gonna try by 1.4 the pack maker and nature um, update for us to change this if it's always possible. And basically, this is I mean, I already have showed you this armor before in 1.2, but this is how it basically looks the original design, how it was before. So that was basically the tropical armor, which again, obtainable by renaming them in armor into tropical, as you can clearly see. Tropical helmet, tropical boots, whatever. Okay, the music is being a bit too loud for me. Look, we did like that. <laughs> this is one of my actual, like, it's a favorite. It's a favorite. It's not my top favorite, but it's a favorite. This is the renamed Leather Armor. I don't know if you use Leather Armor. I don't really know if Leather Armor is even used at this point. I mean, it's going to be used in the Mountain Update, like the generation update once it comes out um the like world generation i mean 
Um, so I, which you'll be using the leather boots for to basically um, climb your way up the mountains. But basically for you to obtain the bark armor is by just writing bark helmet, bark chest plate, bark boots. Wait, yeah, bark boots and well, bark leggings and the bark boots. Why did we not make it like this? leather cap what did we make it helmet instead of cap um for foreign people <laughs> watching um they may not understand the different uh, different differentiation well <laughs> between things so that's why we have stuck on the chest plate or the helmet and we kept it all the same we didn't get lazy no <laughs> it's not an excuse so now this is my favorite for you star wars fans out there you understand what I mean by this. If you rename Diamond Armor into Revan, Revan Helmet, Revan Chestplate, Revan Leggings, and Revan Boots, you will get the man from the Star Wars Legend comics, Dark Revan himself, which is one of my favorite characters um, in the whole Star Wars universe thing. It's kind of just a bit of a... It's not an Easter egg, it's more of a, hey, Tropical Lake some uh, Star Wars a bit too much. <laughs> So why not implement the Star Wars armor in there? Hopefully I won't go into any trouble with this, but I don't think you do, because hey. Okay, now for the final part of the retextured, well, additional armor, I guess you can call it. The forest armor. Basically, if you guys like live in the jungle or something, this would be a nice armor to just rock, you know, but it's, we made this armor again to bit, do a bit of a more of a, like a storyline for your like single player world or just your world in general that you play. And maybe maybe as like a artifact or something, we, we want to add more armors in the future or like we want to add like you retexture items into like artifacts or something and just do mini games with your friends or whatever. That would be pretty cool. Just we want to expand this pack a lot. This is just the beginning. Oh, what we have in mind we just want to we, we did a small amount for now just to see how you guys would personally take it and also before we finish off please to comment down below on what you want to see the next episode because the next episode is basically like we want to see what you guys want like for example back in 1.1 when we were going to do 1.2 update we introduced the like smoothie bottles from a suggestion in the comments that we still have it here till today again um, we are also going to link in the description the original 1.2 update video. That, um, that is basically the whole pack, so there's this and the 1.2. I'm not doing a showcase of the whole 1.2 updates, like of the whole pack, because it has already been showcased before. It's just an addition, like an update to 1.2. So again, thank you very much for watching the epic pack. Um, but moving on to the second part of the video, what is next? I mean, we have the pack release, so what is coming alongside it? So I have two kind of major announcements. Oh yeah, firstly as well, the pack is no longer named Tropical Paradise pack. Because um, the pack was initially, 1.2 update was initially made. So if we're going back to the pack thing, but I do forgot. Um, is, what, is that because... Like the last year, I was in the Tropical Paradise SMP, so I have decided to make a pack for the SMP, but now it's back onto my grasp, it's, ba it's, it's back into the Tropical pack, so that's nice. Anyways, the two major updates of this video, this was just a showcase side of things. Number one, I am going to, I, am, I, I joined this pretty big um, SMP called the Global SMP. Um, which basically by the time I've joined like a week later, they have decided to start a war. Um, I have basically, I'm going to link the own news, this um, channel in the description below. His name is, I think, Sweaty As Your Pets or something like that. He's called something like that, I think. <laughs> I hope I didn't get your name wrong. Um, but basically, I have been, not invited, but I have applied for it. And they have immediately accepted me, which was pretty nice. Mm did a bit of an interview and all went pretty well. Um, but that is really, really the first um, channel update. The second is that summer is here. And why not start off summer with a let's play. I am basically bringing back um, what I did back in 2019, which was doing a let's play, which I want to try to do it long term. 
I've been watching a lot of Hermitcraft and a lot of different Minecraft YouTubers in general about this stuff and I have been inspired to make a let's play that is a bit long term. Um, there is this specific YouTuber, I think Dallas Med 65 is the name, um, which he has like 400 episodes on his single player world and it's like 7 years old now. And it really has inspired me, what if I like do something like it? And I do my first goal is like, hey at least bring out 25 episodes. He has done a video two weeks ago basically saying how he cannot get bored of the game. And one of them, to not keep you bored on the game itself, is do a bit of a, like an archive of what you do with your world. Number one being record your worlds to just basically have like, oh my god, this was my world two years ago, was so, you know, dumbed down. And you like basically the things that you don't know in this world to start learning about them. Like for example, in my case, I don't know redstone a lot. So I, I, I can like, I don't know, start learning redstone through this less play and everything. So that's basically what the major stuff I have planned for my channel. But you also have um, <laughs> a new channel intro for the Let's Play as well for it. Yes, I have hired <laughs> an animator for this and I'm just going to let you guys see this. And that is basically it. Alright, now that you have seen the uh, epic <laughs> animation thing that's going on, um, it's going to be a green screen. What I showed you is without the green screen, just with the clouds. But basically, why is it going to be with green screen? Basically, in the background, instead of the clouds on the sky, there's going to be the team around the video that it will be on that day. Oh, wait, what's that? <laughs> I forgot all about that texture. <laughs> Look at the tropical cat. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted easily. Um, but yeah, that's how it's going to work out. Another thing I want to add on is I want to do a recording with you guys, where we just play some random games in general or Hypex or whatever. So if you guys want to be in the next video or video after, I don't know what I'm gonna do it exactly. Please comment down below, or you have my Discord here as well. Um, that is really it. And also, once I release episode 1 for the Let's Play, I'm also going to open a new Discord server. So that is all I have to showcase and to talk about today. I think personally this is one of my biggest channel updates so far. And I'm happy that I'm basically a Minecraft YouTuber again. I'm not abandoning other games. I, mean, I haven't really played other games this year, I think. I haven't really played any games except the Minecraft this year. On the channel, that is. <laughs> Out of the channel, I've been playing is Yakuza and all that fun stuff, which are very amazing games. And I highly recommend the Yakuza series. Please, pick it up. <laughs> Anyways, that has mostly been it. This has been Jocko Parallax. Bye-bye. And stay tropical.